Hey, welcome, welcome. Space Trucker Cleet is here. And we're about to go on a full cargo run. It's called the Bounty Run. It's actually one of my favorite trips uh, because it, uh, it takes you on uh, three, three planets, three moons. So I like that stuff. First, we're going to get processed food in Bountiful Harvest in uh, Daymar. So we're going to fill up the caterpillar with uh, food all the way. Processed food, there we go. This is always um, a good way to start. All my cargo runs have like three stops. Usually one stop is the, the main stop, the biggest, you know, biggest profit stop. To get there, I like to add one or two other stops to it. So uh, the first one, and you can always, always do this anywhere you go, is the food stop. So, and this, there it is. This is, this is the best gift in the 12 days of giving <laughs> that's currently going on it's the green paint and I love it it's I think it's perfect uh, don't care much about the other gifts don't care much about you know wallpapers and then preview thingies but this I like skins for your ship look at that perfect 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 so that made me very happy um, when I saw that this was one of the gifts on day five, I think, and you can still get those. Yeah, you can get all the gifts at the website. Uh, where was I? Yeah, I was saying about the uh, cargo, the cargo running. I always do three stops if it's a full cargo run. Um, you st I, I always start with food because you can uh, pick it up everywhere in the uh, in the system on on all parts of it. And almost every uh, outpost takes food, lots of it, so you can always sell it, which in a uh, in a full caterpillar means about 15,000 uh, profit, which is easy, because you got to go there anyway, you know, might as well take something with you and add the 15,000 to the list. And that's what we're doing right now, so this is the first stop, like I said, we're on uh, Daymar, Bountiful Harvest. Filling it up with food, and we are going to Yela to Arcop Mining uh, 157. And oh, I should really fix that. That looks like a mess. So off we go. This this whole trip um, should profit about a hundred thousand and if you do it uh, on your own if you're running around and everything should take like 40 45 minutes but you know me I'm slow I like to, to walk everywhere and to take my time because I'm not not that much focused on earning the most bucks in the least amount of time I just want to enjoy the game and uh, enjoy the atmosphere of it and this is how I do it you know Take it, taking my time and everything going for the regular jobs as well not only going for the high paying jobs because everybody is, is hunting them, everybody is hunting Laranite and stuff like that and it will just be annoying if you, you know, come somewhere and somebody has just been there and you have to wait, that just sucks so, don't even want to start with that, oh uh, look at that paint job, man, this one will stay on for a long time <laughs> that's for sure Yep, definitely love it. So we're going to uh, Yela right now, to the Arcorp Mining 157. That's where we're going to sell the food. And um, like I said, it's about 15, 1600 credits, or space us, as I like to call them. And from there on we pick on uh, the second job. And... Let's see... There we go. Um, on the longer trips, I will skip the quantum travel, or cut and paste, because uh, you know I try to keep the videos between 30 minutes and 40 minutes. So if I do a complete run, I need to cut a little bit every now and then, like cutting down when you fly to the outpost. We all know how it looks like. So um, we'll be cutting a little bit in that just to save time and to show you 
a full run for once. Usually it's just one part of the run, the biggest paying part. But this time it's the whole run. So just have to uh, to look for number 157, which is always the last one I scan. <laughs> I haven't played enough to recognize where we are and uh, to what part I have to look for. There we go. So, like I said, it's going to be um, about, you know, 45 minutes job if you do it uh, by yourself. And it will be 100,000, a little bit more, depending on the uh, economy at that moment. So we're just going to skip here and land at Arcorp Mining 157. There we go. Bringing them food, much wanted food. No booze this time. I heard there was a wild party and they don't want any booze for a long time. So it's just food. And from here on we're gonna pick up the next job. Just set it down smooth. I normally try to do it from the in view as well, cockpit view, but my uh, joystick is kind of having a little bit of issues, so it's much easier to do it from the outside. I should turn the engine off um, because of the wind problem. My, um, my raft flew away after I kept the engine on and it was storming. So I'm trying to um, to make myself do this every time, you know, turn it off, getting used to it. All right, let's go outside. It's a, it's a safety zone, so no need to bring weapons. Just a quick in and out. So sell the food, get my new goodies on board, and moving on. Ooh, it's misty. Damn. Oh, <laughs> that almost went wrong. Alright, let's do this. It's a nice cold night <laughs> at Yela. Always a good view though. Always a good view. Got Crusader in the back. Nice. Alright. Yeah, Bob is still there. It's always working. Let's uh, sell him some food. There we go. As you see, that's about 15. 15,000, I think. 16, maybe. Can't remember how much we bought it. But that's money in the bank. So that's step one. And then we go for the next one. Uh. I always check if this is full, which is not, it's rarely full, but second part is a fluorine, there we go. Filling it up with fluorine, and we're going to take that to Hicks Research, or Hikes Research, I don't know what it is, Hicks or Hikes, but um, we're going there, that's for sure, with fluorine, they like that stuff up there. A uh, good thing to know is that there's almost one million in stock of fluorine in this place, um, which should be enough to always buy it. And Hikes takes about, uh, what is it, 500,000, 576,000 
units of fluorine. So that should be enough. Um, that's about 5,760 SCU. So that means a few um, a few big big cargo haulers can go there without it being empty. So we should be good for that. I usually do this run twice on one evening and never run into any problem. So I guess not a lot of people do this. So that's good. That's the thing with my videos. After my videos, they start doing it. So I kind of shoot myself myself in the foot. But I just can't help it. I like to help new space truckers, you know, discover routes, learning a little bit of, you know, how the trading thing works. Because there's still a lot of people that, that don't know how it works. They don't know about the... Uh, ah, I should really fix that. That looks like a mess. They don't know about the system, about the stock system. And um, so I like to help people at the cost that it, you know, I give up my cargo routes, which is fine. There's so many of them. All right. We're going to take this to Selin, third moon on this trip. No, second moon. Well, third. We started on Daymar, then we went to uh, Yela, and now we're going to sell in to Higgs or Hikes Research. Just gonna call it Higgs. I think it's Higgs. Higgs Research. Like I said, they got they got plenty of buying stock to uh, to buy the fluorine. So this is a pretty safe safe bet as well. And this profit is going to be around 30,000 Spesos which is again pretty good for this little trip you know um, you can do this a few times this trip alone but that's kind of cutting it close at the uh, selling location because they don't refill that fast so I wouldn't recommend doing this all night up and down it's better to do this with food. If you want to do short drives, go with food up and down. But fluorine is a little bit more... Um, takes a bit longer to refresh. But doing this whole run twice on one evening is no problem. Okay, where is Hicks? Give me Hicks. Again, it's always the last one, so I might as well start on the last one. <laughs> but then it would be the first one. So, never mind. There we go. Quantum drive is now on. Onward to Hicks. We lost the sound of the quantum drive. That's probably because I, uh, I turned the engine off earlier. Oh well, so be it. Selling the um, selling the fluorine. Quick, quick cut and paste. Cut and paste. <laughs> Just trying to save time here, people. No need to see me going down endlessly until we uh, reach the outpost. All right. Let's set her down on that one. There we go. I can hear the wind. I should turn off the engine again. Engines offline. All right. Let's sell the uh, fluorine. Again, this is the second stop. And, um, yeah, let's see. Should be, uh, should be empty. So, should be okay. Let's 
So we bought this for 132, I believe. Should be a good score. This is always tricky. <laughs> but I'm taking no risk. I'm always closing the door. Too many people out there calling themselves pirates, but you know. Just ordinary thieves is what I call it. Stealing ships when the cargo door is open. Ain't gonna happen. That's a beautiful night here. Only minus 19 degrees. That's not too bad. Good view. Again, I hardly run in this game. Running gets you killed. And uh, don't want to happen. Don't want that to happen. Got my my cargo ship full. Not only with, with cargo, but with uh, guns. Stuff like that. Got a couple of real guns on that one. Going to do some fun things with that later on. Um, but yeah, I don't want to lose the ship. So I don't want to die in the game. And so far, I must say, it's going pretty good. Not, I'm not dying that much, and if I die, it's kind of my own fault. Being stupid. <laughs> Alright, we bought it for 132, I believe. So let's see what we're gonna get. Full cargo of fluorine. There we go. Wow, that's more than 30,000. That's, that's good, doesn't matter how you put it, that's good money. For just five minutes of flight, you know, can't argue with that. All right, let's see. We're gonna take stims. That's the last part, and we're gonna take that to area 18. This is a really good paying uh, job, and area 15, uh, area 18 is is taking a lot of amounts of of stiff uh, stiffs. No, not stiffs. Stims. <laughs> they do have a lot of stiffs. I saw that. Um, but the profit on this, you know, taking it from, from Hicks to Area 18 is around 50,000. So that's pretty good if you, you know, realize that you're buying it for almost 160,000. So this is a really good job. That's why it's one of my favorite cargo jobs that I like to do. Again, it's not a high paying job. That's not your YouTube, that's my game freezing. It's not a high paying job. There are easier, no, not easier, there are better paying jobs out there in the verse. But this is, you know, this is what I like. I like space trucking. I don't need to be rich in this game. As you see, my money doesn't go up that much. Every time I have more than a million, I either donate it to people that need it, you know, or I buy upgrades for my ships got the uh, raft all updated it's it's a fast little bugger now um, I just don't care about money in the game got three ships the ones that I need the ones that I want you know the freelancer the raft and and this baby that's all I need I don't need to buy more ships um, if I want to use a ship for a while I rent it you know so I don't care I don't care about money too much that's why it's always gone <laughs> Uh, but that's okay, because I don't do the, the high com high paying commodities, um, because they're never there, because so many people are hunting on them. I like to stay below that line, you know, I think titanium is the, is the biggest, because that's, that's hunted a lot as well, but there's enough of it. So that's still okay, but um, other than that, I like to do jobs like this. And even then, I don't know why people don't use the stims, the stim jobs, but um, sure, I'll take them. But that's what I like. I like enjoying this game. I like trucking, like on this trip through different planets, you know, uh, have different stops, move on to the end planet with the big pay and do it all again. And just enjoying this game, I should fix that. And uh, just enjoying this game, you know, enjoying the, the scenery, enjoying the uh, the whole experience of it. 
that's what I love. That's why I'm uh, I'm a space trucker, and that's about it. I might might get into uh, I I do a little bit of ROC mining just for fun and relaxation. Might get into hunting, um, but that will be when when the servers are matched. When it's one big server, not bounty hunting, other kind of hunting. There will be more videos about that when that happens and yeah keeping busy like that not concerning too much about making millions just concerning about enjoying the game that's what I like so as you see this trip is pretty good for just enjoying the game have a nice cargo run on three planets going to the fourth one now and we're gonna skip that of course as well um, gonna land this thing on uh, area 18 landings in this place um, doesn't always go well with me I'm not sure yet if I want to use the uh, the nose in kind of landing where you go nose first or use this one where you just go down this is hard to do from from you know first perspective so uh, I always do this on the outside but even the nose down thing from the first view is, is kind of hard with this ship so I need a little bit of practice with that before I get better at it but at this moment I'll do it like this and I will probably still scratch my new paint <laughs> Uh, let's see. Sometimes I feel there's also like a, some kind of invisible little wall sometimes. But it doesn't actually hit it. But it, it does hit it. Eh. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> Scratched my engine. Oh well. It's good enough. That's good enough. They accept it. And I didn't die. I call that a very good landing. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you very much. Alright. So, for Stims, you should know that um, Hicks Research has a stock of 300,000 you know that means um, you can can it can be some quite some ships before you before it's empty uh, so that's good so 300,000 that means 3,000 SEU so that's quite a lot of caterpillars or um, C2s to fill it up so that's not gonna go that fast that's good only thing to know is that most out outposts and most um, stations they only take thousand stims. That's ten SEU. So I think uh, area 18 and maybe Lorville is one of the few places that um, you know takes a lot of stims. Let's see, they take 200,000 stims, which is still risky. Because it's not that much, but it's still okay. You know, I haven't run into any problems that anyone else is at the same time running stims um, to area 18, so that's fine. But just know that most places only take a thousand, so that's not a lot. It's 10 SEU, which is good if you have a small ship, you can do that. But if you have a, a cargo ship full, don't go to those places because you'll be waiting just go to the TDD and if the TDD is full then the North Tower North Tower also takes uh, 60,000 so that's pretty good I think so that makes this my favorite run um, I hope you like it and I hope it helps you Let's uh, let's sell our goodies. It takes all of us working together to keep our safe and secure. Be vigilant and 
Just going to store it just in case. And there we go. It's stored. So at least it's safe and we can uh, can move on. Ah. Little presents. I don't know if anybody is still uh, collecting them, but um, I'm gonna take one and uh, see if we can give it to a player that runs into us or something like that. <laughs> Always trying to be nice in this game. <laughs> Although I don't think this is a server with a lot of players on it, so we might get stuck with this present. I, uh, I collected them in the beginning, you know, they were worth a thousand units, which was good, but, you know, after one evening of collecting these things, it's, uh, that was enough. It felt like I was doing a Nintendo 64 game where you collect stuff instead of a space game, you know. Uh, maybe he wants one. What are you doing? Want a gift? Free? No? <laughs> He's not looking amused. Uh, he looks angry. Oh, he's ready for a fight? No. We keep it civil. It's just a gift, man. Let it go. Yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting look you got there. I'm approaching. Too bad it's night. Area 18 is my favorite place to be, uh, especially in the daylight. I think it's amazing. to the city. Too bad I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Ah, even at night it's it's pretty good. With all the lights going on and, and the neon. I can't imagine, you know, cities look like this in the future. I would be <laughs> depressed as hell if I lived here. I'd be living on an outpost on Dema or something like that because this is not for me but in the game this is my uh, it's my, my go to city again it's not your youtube it's my game the server has been really sketchy tonight performing wise but um, uh, just in the city so I can deal with that Still got my, still got my present. I don't think we're gonna run into anyone. Oh, and there we go. That runs better. I don't think we're gonna run into anyone. Might as well um, leave it somewhere instead of walking around with this. Yeah, might as well leave it here. There we go for whoever finds it, it's yours. Because we got a goodies to sell, money to make, and more runs to do. It's a rough run tonight. But we're almost there. TDD, my favorite place. Because this buys just about anything. And usually has a good price for it as well. 
even if the price isn't the best, they still buy the most, so you can always dump your ship here. That was not necessary, dude. See it. Get the money. Sell all the stims. There you go. Two hundred fourteen thousand. That's quite good. This was a good haul. So there you go, man. This is all you need to do. Like I said, it's about a forty-five minutes um, trip. If you, uh, yeah. If you do it easy, if you run around, probably like 40 minutes. But you know me, don't like to run around, so it took me about 45 or 50 minutes. And that's fine. Like I said, 100,000 is fine for that amount of time for space trucking. Because that's just what we like to do. There we go. I hope you uh, enjoyed this trip and I hope you can use this cargo run for yourself and enjoy it as well, make some money with it. Um, I'll, be, uh, I'll be on next week with another cargo trip, probably with a smaller one with the raft or something like that. And uh, oh, that was a friend of mine, hello. So see you guys next time and thanks for all the support and everything. You guys are great, bye bye.